In my AS uh, level class, most of my students got this wrong on a recent assessment. It's a fabulous graph. Let's take a look at it. At the moment, it's incomplete. Let's just remind ourselves that when we're talking about chromatids, we are talking about either half of this one chromosome and that they are going to be moving to opposite poles of the cell. So the chromatids are going to be pulled apart and if we look at the graph we've got the distance in um in micrometers that's fine and at the bottom we've got time after the start of metaphase in minutes so metaphase must have started here because that's what this graph is and this is on the equator of the cell so we're actually in metaphase there we've got two lines oh this should be a dotted one we've got two lines this one here is the distance between the chromatids. So clearly here, when it's on the equator of the cell, there is zero distance because they are together. It's only when we're this far through metaphase that they start to separate. And this line here, which is incomplete, is the distance between each chromatid and the pole to which it is moving. So in other words, this distance here. So the first question says, what is the duration of metaphase in this cell? Well, metaphase is when they all line up on the equator and anaphase is when they start to be pulled apart. So if we look at this line here, it's the distance between chromatids. In other words, as soon as they start being pulled apart, that is anaphase. And what we find if we read off the graph that that takes place in 18 minutes after the start of metaphase. Okay, the second part of this question asks, use line X to calculate the duration of anaphase in this cell. So let's just recap. Metaphase is where they all line up in the middle. Anaphase is from when they start to be pulled apart and they land at their opposite poles in the cell. So basically, if we look at the distance between chromatids, we'll that means the beginning of when they were going to be starting to be pulled apart to the end when they stop moving apart. So therefore, the distance between 18 and then here, the distance doesn't continue increasing. That means they're at the opposite pole. So if I move that down, that is at 28 minutes. And so in answer to the question, use line X to calculate the duration of anaphase in this cell. Well, to calculate it, I need to go 28 minus 18, so it would be 10 minutes. Anaphase is 10 minutes because anaphase is when it starts moving apart, the chromatids, to when they reach their destination at the opposite poles. Question three says complete line Y on the graph. So let's have a little look what that would be. The distance between each chromatid and the pole to which it's moving. Well, at the start of metaphase, it's on 20. That means there's 20 micrometers between there and the pole. Now it gets to the pole there when it's at the end of anaphase. And we know the end of anaphase is there 28 minutes. So when does it start to move? Well, it starts to move apart when the chromatids start to separate. In other words, when that distance starts to increase, which is shown by this line here. So this is gonna continue across, and then the minute they separate and they start to be pulled apart, it's going to go down to 28 there. This is a fabulous question. And I really hope that you can take the time to look at the graph, to go over it, to be able to explain it to somebody else because the skills that you develop in explaining and analysing this type of graph will stand you in really good stead when you move into A2.